Hi everyone, sir again. Okay, to, right now we're looking at reading text files, and this is uh, probably a really important part for most y'all. Uh, you want to figure out how you can read uh, read a text file. Maybe some of you get a uh, get a text file emailed to you in the morning uh, from uh, from some 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 database guy. And uh, you just want to see the list. Of it's it's normally a text file from a mainframe, and you want to read that in Excel so you can uh, you can modify the data. I know that one fellow I, I did work for, uh, he had a uh, a mainframe. He received a printout each day of the sales from the from the prior day that were emailed to him from the from the database guy. Who was doing? Uh, it was just a view from a from a from a mainframe, a printout, an Excel text file. You could either copy that into Excel, or you could use VBA to import it. Now, I would. Uh, it's a lot quicker to just write a procedure that goes ahead and reads the file. Uh, and again, you can use VBA to speed up a lot of these processes and you could use customize VBA code to kind of speed up uh, time consuming processes. I know that things that normally take the two days people spend so much time but if you learn VBA and that's what this example is uh, I want to encourage you to, to go ahead and uh, peruse this. We're going to step by step through the code here but we're going to take a text file, import it into Excel, so that you can better analyze it. So, without any further ado, let's go through the code right now. Okay, so, for example here, we have a, uh, again, I typed this all up. Uh, actually, I took it from, I copied it base, I beautified it. I copied it from the the file VBA Crash Course dot uh, VBA Crash Course at report. So uh, we have read text file. I just have a, a small simple text file called the file name, and it's a uh, it's just a little notepad file. It just has the months of certain certain sales occurred and the year that certain sales occurred in. Okay, so we have a month. In a year, that's pretty much pretty much it. Real, real basic. Okay, but uh, it is a text file. This is probably the most complicated and drawn out module that there is. Uh, but you're going to get get the most value from it. So uh, we're starting out. Read text file. I'm going to go ahead and press F8. We're going to step through the code here. Read text file. And I'm dimensioning a variable name, dim as your file name, as string, int row, okay, and as your line item. This real key with a text file, I want to go ahead and uh, read each value. And yet, again, uh, you know, this is a side note. You can use Excel, they have an open feature where you can open a text file into it and, and put it into Excel. What if you want to? analyze each particular value that's coming in from that text file maybe each line item and what each of the tab values are maybe they're comma separated well uh, we can there's a uh, a certain break string function in here that you're going to see and uh, that's going to be real helpful to you that you're going to be able to use and add that as a delimiter okay add your comma add your tab etc etc so back to the back to this code we have a new thing here on error go to error handler so we're doing a little bit of error handling there if there is an error go to the error handler label okay so if there is an error we use this on error go to okay error handler is a label yeah, I didn't dimension it up here. I just made a label, and here is the label down here at the bottom. You may know this from basic. If anybody, if anybody uh, that's watching this is familiar with basic, 
this is a basic uh, basic type of syntax basic the language so er handler with a colon and then uh, we go we go to this label so it skips over the code it goes directly to the error handler if there is an error and that eliminates a lot of problems with that little default box that pops up with the red mark that everybody freaks out about saying oh my code just froze out I don't know what to do now and then they call you up saying uh, help me please <laughs> okay so uh, we're, we're just putting it up there for it to check ourselves and uh, make sure that we're doing it right so we can put our own custom error handler okay next we have a file name this is going to be the file name. C, it's under C drive. It's called filename.txt. Again, it's like an Evanier we file name. Okay, we have the file name, filename.txt. It's all right, it's here, so we're all good. This is the variable to hold the path name. Okay, you could have it so that they select a, a certain file. Okay, but we're not going to do that right now. So it's your file name. Now we have the file name. Now it's your file name. The same thing we did right here. C colon backslash file name dot txt. We're seeing if it, if if there's actually something there. So if file name equals blank, okay, double quotation marks, blank, it equals nothing. You could have if it len if len equals zero, you could do the same thing. We want to check and see if the file name is not blank. Give a mess of it. So if if right now it's not blank, so we're going to skip this. But if they were blank, we'd have a message like that was that would appear saying no file was selected, the critical no file, and exit this up. So we wouldn't go any farther than this. We just just jump over all this code here and go straight and leave. Okay, but we're not doing that. We're skipping it because there is a file name. Okay, clear the worksheet and get it ready for new data. A good way to write your VBA code, if you don't know the syntax, is to record the macro. If you are confused about recording macro, go to record macro, record excel macro.com, and uh, we have a, a bunch of resources here that you can go ahead and uh, take advantage of. CortexCellMacro.com. So we're selecting the entire worksheet, sheet one. Okay, let's go over here. Sheet one. Notice how it's not selected. We're going here, and we had to step through it. Selecting the worksheet. It's it's selecting the cells. Notice that now they're all selected. They're all black. Okay, well first we select the worksheet, then we selected the cells. Oh, back on that. Yeah, the VBA macro, uh, record a macro, then copy the code. It's going to appear in one of these modules here. And then selection.clear. This is all you can get by recording your own macro and copying the code. So cells.select, selection.clear. Bang, it cleared the selection. Okay, and then we're going to select cell A1. Back here again. Okay, cell A1 is selected. She1, A1. So we're good with that. And then we're going to instantiate the row, being at 1, so we don't have any errors. Print the columns, heading to the first row. And the first row column. Again, uh, here we're using we're using column column row and column format, row and column. So it's RC. So we're using the cells here instead of range. So again, you could use cells. Okay, we were using range and a bunch of other the previous examples, but here we're not. So we're gonna print out the first row. We're gonna print out some headings month and year month and year okay month and year put that there now here's the part where we open up a text file so open 
as your file name, open this file. I'm going to input it as a file number one. Okay, we're inputting. We're saying to tell the computer. We're saying open that file name. Open it for input as one. As number one. Okay, as number one. Now this looks real familiar. Do until in a file eof end of file one so do it until it's the end of the under the end of the file and here's one process the entire file okay that's why it's my little comment here now line input number one so we're gonna have line input now we process the first line Okay, these are these are some arguments that are needed by the line input. So we're gonna and it we we need something to hold. We need a variable to hold the each line of that text file. So we're sticking it in into as your line item. Okay, that's the first line item. We're sticking. We're reading the file putting it into the variable called ester line item so we're reading the first line into the variable then the second line is going to be read into the variable and the third line is going to be read into the variable so here's my comment each line of text each line of the text file is stored in ester line item okay Pass each line of the text file to a function and parse it out in separate columns. That's the idea. That's the pseudocode behind it. Okay. First, we're going to get rid of any uh, any space at the beginning or ending. Okay. And this, that's just what trim is. Again, see one of my other videos about trim. It's really a basic function, and it's just to get rid of any spaces. But this is where the real power is. We're, we're saying the line result is going to be whatever our result is okay it's going to be break it's a very variant it's going to be it's going to be parsed by this function right here break string okay again this is a real versatile function so go ahead and use it for your own applications I think you're going to find it really really useful to you so break string line item okay line each of each of these line items remember that we have a, the first line item break it at the tab okay vb tab we could have a, just we could just put a uh, a tab there five spaces but uh, this is probably a little more understandable vb tab the computer understands it no notice that if i type a t it automatically capitalizes it so it understands what VB tab is and what it uh, what it's supposed to do okay now we're gonna jump out of this into the break string function so watch watch this bang I put F8 again break string some text remember that's the line item delimiter is gonna be the tab and it's a return for a variant so the comment here is sent an array back as a result to another variant in the calling procedure. So if write some text, the text that we have is not equal to delimiter, go ahead and add the delimiter. So start. Okay, watch watch this. And here's another another way of writing two loops that we we're gonna do while the next delimiter is greater than or equal to one. Stop when there's zero, when there's no more delimiters. Okay, here's an example of an array. Read in, preserve, str. Okay, we're gonna preserve the, uh, this part of the array, this part of the string array, at this, at this, uh, this portion, number one, the counter is one. And then what? Hey, 
I split it up and the first item is mud. That's exactly what I want. Okay, next, the limiters, 11. Go ahead and go ahead and do this. Okay, now my line result is broken up. I'm breaking the string at the tab because this isn't my text files in tab to limited format. When you contact the DBA, see what he what they normally go about exporting their views as. Okay, if you get your information from a mainframe, see what they export the view as. Do they export it as a a comma delimited and a comma delimited format or a or a tab delimited format. If it's a comma delimited, then go ahead and substitute VD tab for uh, a, a comma. Okay? Like this. Comma bang like that. Okay, but I don't want to do that because I know mine is VB tab. It's a tab. So now my 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 first line is broken down into two items month and year okay that variant the first item in the variant is going to be month the second one is year so the first line we have that okay and then uh, we're going to process the whole thing i press f5 and notice how i'm getting my getting every value I'm putting it into a into this and really I could have started at row number I could have avoided this by starting at row uh, row 2 and now processing the first line so anyway my mistake but you can go refine the code afterwards my advice is run it first see what you can refine then Go ahead and refine it afterwards. You can format each one of the. You can read it. Each value. You have more control over every single bit of the code. Okay. Now, or every single line that's read in, you have control over what you're gonna. How you gonna do? It, how you gonna deal with it? Okay. Maybe you need to keep your eye for a certain point. Or maybe you need it. maybe it's better to put it into Excel. But as you're bringing it into Excel, put some notation uh, using code and say, okay, this I need to check out this, I need to check out this, I need to check out. Okay, back to the code here. So we loop through, and now it's the end of the file. Okay, and the file is true. So we're exiting the loop here. Okay, that's all while the loop happened. While it's not the end of the file. When it is the end of the file, once you just get to the very end, close number one. Remember, we open number one. Now we have to close number one. Close number one, and then exit the sub. This needs to be here, otherwise the error handling code is going to run. Yes. So we need to make sure that we have the exit sub so this doesn't run. By the way, if you do run into error, we want to close any file, close the file that's open, and send me back what, what's wrong with it. Maybe you want to email yourself if a certain error pops up. Maybe you want to email yourself if a certain error pops up. Okay, you can include this, so you can have to do whatever you want. So again, close the file if an error results, and then uh, send yourself an error, or notify the user of an error. Say so exit the sub. So that is reading a text file. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day.